Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you all the steps I take when creating my Lottie animations. We're going to start off in Illustrator and create our letterbox icon. We'll then head over to After Effects, animate it and export it specifically for Lottie. Let's get started. So for the first layer I'm going to be creating the actual letterbox. So just use a rectangle, uh, no fill, 20. Strict width, and let's round off the corners. Um, let's do fifty. Yeah, fifty. Perhaps, perhaps a bit more. Fifty-five. I like a nice rounded. Little box. Okay, so that's our first layer. Quickly name it as you should, and I'm going to duplicate it. And ooh. okay, I've got the rectangle. I'm going to duplicate it, and then just move this over. I think halfway is pretty good. And let's just get rid of all of these points. So we've got a nice angle on the front of the letterbox. I'll just call this letterbox side. And let's create the entry for the letters to get in. So let's just do a pen. Um, I think that should be right. Seems all right. Uh, letter box. What should we call it? Mouth. Okay. Uh, let's just create some uh, little feet for it. So the actual post. And just one line there and another here. Should be all right. Seems all right. Yep. Okay. And then now I want to create a little flag for it, which we'll be animating. So just to uh, notify you if you've got mail or not. So let's start with an ellipse. Um. I'll just plop it here. Okay, and uh, let's uh, just use fill. See how that looks. Okay, that's. Mm. Let's see how that goes. It might be a bit big. Just use uh, this line for a guide layer. And I want to use a rectangle. And just go straight up. Uh, let's do it quite high. Yep. Okay. And put those black. And then another rectangle for the actual flag. Uh, yep. Just filling. Yep. Okay. That's looking good. And then if I put it. think there. That looks good. I'm going to use a mask uh, in After Effects, so I'm going to create that layer now. So that's the litter box flag. And if we create another rectangle uh, down the side here, and that should be called litter box flag. Let's just call it flag mask. And then basically in After Effects, uh, can I do it here? It's going to rotate down like that. Well, you know what I mean, rotate down and then the mask, use an inverted mask. <clears throat> then I'll use an inverted mask 
uh, of the litter box on the flag and that will give it a nice effect um, otherwise I think we're good to go on the litter box so just double checking we've named them correctly and what I've got to do is save it and we're good to go okay now that we've made our icon let's get set up in After Effects so we're going to create a new project and then we're going to import our Illustrator file and import it as a composition then we're going to open it up select all of the layers and create shapes from vector layer and then we can delete all of the old illustrator layers okay I'm just going to lock my guide layer okay so my idea for this animation is that the user will hover their cursor over the letterbox the flag will go up and make the letterbox bounce a bit and then when the user removes their cursor, the flag will go back down. So let's start off by setting up some anchor points. So first of all, for the flag, that needs to be moved so that we can rotate it correctly. And I want to start it as a flag down, so I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Oh yeah, okay, so that's my mask layer. So I'm actually going to find my flag mask and parent it so that they both rotate together okay what have I done wrong oh sorry so yeah don't rotate the mask rotate the actual flag there we go and whilst we're at it um, I'm going to set up the alpha inverted map so the litter box outlines need to be underneath the litter box flag mask and then we are going to click alpha inverted map and there we go now that looks good actually I think I want the flag to be a bit closer to the litter box so actually I'm just going to color this because I'm finding it hard to find them so that's our flag and uh, let's just move it to the left a bit just so it perhaps 21 321 okay and now I'm just going to lock those actually I need the letterbox outlines so I'm going to parent the shape layers of the litter box to a null object okay and then grab the outlines the mouth and the side and just pick whip those to the layer so like that they will all rotate together when we bounce it around uh, the posts they're gonna stay uh, they're going to stay fixed so I'm just going to drag them down and lock them and then hide the guide layer and have a look in Lottie files what it looks like as a Lottie and it seems like it's all appearing correctly so we're good to go to start animating this okay let's get animating so I'm going to start off with the flag and let's start with its rotation so let's just make a keyframe at the start and then at two seconds uh, another keyframe and then around and then around keyframe 35 I want to make it go back up so zero and then before that I'm going to make it wobble a bit so let's try out I think let's try five and minus five so that it goes back and then wobbles in place 
Let's do some easy ease. Okay. And then let's sort out the ending. So we've got that. And I think let's go a bit slower. So let's do so that's 77. Let's do 85 at 150. And then at 140, let's go down even more. So down, up, and then back. Uh, why is that like that? Let's change that. And then at 120, let's grab the last keyframe and then bounce. So it bounces up and then back down. Let's go into the graph editor quickly. And I think going up, it needs to start off slow and then ramp up around 90, I think. Yep, that looks pretty nice. And then the same when it goes back down, except perhaps I want it to start off fast. <laughs> Let's try that's a bit fast. Actually, no, it's better that way, isn't it? Slow and then doing, then it bounces. <clears throat> Let's have a look. up and down. Okay, that's pretty nice. So now I want to shake the letterbox. So let's animate the rotation of the letterbox. So let's do 25, frame 25, and then add a keyframe. Let's go five more and rotate it down a bit and then five more rotate it up just three degrees and then back down and add some easy ease so like that it just just the latte box okay that's pretty nice let's have a look how it renders as a lotti. Okay, that looks fine. Nice white background. Okay. That seems fine. So this is going to be our looping animation. So it's going to be just a seamless two second loop. And I'm going to duplicate it and create a morphing letterbox. So let's call that little box morph. And the trick is to go halfway and stop the animation there and delete the unused keyframes so they don't take up space in the file. And then, so when a user puts their cursor over the little box, it'll play the animation. And then when the cursor goes off, it'll play in reverse. And that's a morphing icon. So now that we've got them both, we can just click on render. You can upload it if you want to. And we're gonna save it to PC so that we can uh, use it in our website. So, Let's just call this letterbox. And let's go to morphing. Render that out. 
upload it for safekeeping. And save that to PC. Great. So now we've got our two animations. They are ready to be integrated into a website. If this video helps you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with everything happening in the wonderful world of Lottie Animations.